Hello from the Crystal Coast. This is Pastor Kevin, and it's Tuesday, August the 3rd. I've been reading through the Bible this year and the Bible Project's uh, biblical storyline, uh, their plan that goes through the entire year, and I've just finished uh, the Psalms. And before I leave the Psalms, I wanted to uh, I wanted to encourage us to focus on one more of, of the Psalms uh, together. In these uh, blogs, and it's Psalm 143. That psalm is uh, titled, A Psalm of David. <clears throat> and then here's what it says. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my pleas for mercy. In your faithfulness, answer me. In your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your service, for no one living is righteous before you. For the enemy has pursued my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me sit in darkness like those long dead. Therefore my spirit faints within me. My heart within me is appalled. I remember the days of old. I meditate on all that you have done. I ponder the work of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you, my soul thirst for you like a parched land. Answer me quickly, O Lord, my spirit fails. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear in the morning of your steadfast love, for I trust in you. Make me know the way I should go, for to you I lift up my soul. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on level ground. For your name's sake, O Lord, preserve my life. In your righteousness bring my soul out of trouble. And in your steadfast love, you will cut off my enemies. You will destroy all the adversaries of my soul, for I am your servant. <clears throat> I, I was thinking about this uh, psalm when I read it. And <clears throat> in the midst of all that's going on uh, in the world and even in our own community, I was thinking about finding peace in the midst of the panic. How do I, how do I, how do I get myself to a place where I'm, I'm not uh, torn out of the frame by all the distressing news? that uh, is constantly coming my way. How, how do we do that? <clears throat> when I read this psalm, uh, I, I came across seven steps that I can take to find peace in the midst of the panic. The first one is to think long and hard about what God has done in the past. Uh, that's, that's, what he, that's what he starts to talk about. Um, He says, I will meditate on all that you have done. Think long and hard. That's what meditating is, thinking long and hard. Think about all that God has done and in history and then also in your own personal life. Keep, keep track of God's activity in your, in your past. That's the first thing. The second thing, want God more than you want what God can give. Want him more. Uh, the third third step he mentions is to trust in God's loyal love. God's faithfulness to us. That is something that we can actually rely on. And, and we ought to get to the place in our lives where we, we really do depend on him to be faithful. Here's number four. Make God your refuge. Uh, you you've got a you've got a place, some place that you like to go. I know I was talking to a friend recently, and he, he was telling me about a, a place that he 
through the years. He just, it's his favorite place in all the earth. There's, a, there's that place that when you think about, if you need to go somewhere to be rejuvenated and refreshed and where you, your, your, your battery gets recharged, make God that place in your life. Make him your refuge. Here's number five. Make it a priority to know the will of God. Now, I know when I say that, a lot of people go, boy, I would love to know the will of God. Well, I've got, I've got good news for you. You, you can know God's will. Uh, it begins by opening your Bible. Uh, make sure you're getting into God's Word because God's Word reveals His heart, His desire, His plan, His purposes for our lives. <clears throat> Number six, make his name great. He, he talks about, for the sake of your name, O Lord, preserve my life. Uh, know that when you are connected to God, that, that what happens in your life reflects on him. Uh, focus on making his name great. And then finally, number seven, Focus on serving God. That's the last thing he says. Uh, he says, you're going to cut off my enemies. You're going to destroy all my adversaries. Why? Why would God do that? For I am your servant. In other words, God, I'm, I'm, I'm laying it all on the line for you. Uh, I'm going to need you to work on my, on my behalf. So here's the question of the day for us. What confession of trust do do you need to make to the Lord today? What is that? Which one of those seven do you need to say today, God, this is my confession of trust uh, before you? Let me pray for you today. <clears throat> Father, we, we come to you uh, in, the, in the midst of these uncertain days, distressing days, and we acknowledge our absolute need uh, for you and and express we confess our trust in you as our faithful God our refuge the one who who loves whose love for us will never change and so we pray that uh, that as we look to you and depend on you and rely on you, uh, that God, you will make your name great through our lives. Uh, that's what we ask today in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> uh, just a couple of, of notes here. Uh, at the beginning of this week, there appears to be an uptick of COVID cases uh, in our area, as well as in our, our church family in recent days, to the point where we actually feel the need to make a few adjustments in what we are are currently uh, doing in our church family. Um, first, uh, some of the meetings that we were on the calendar that we had scheduled. Those meetings are actually being uh, postponed, uh, at least for a couple of weeks, until we can see where this where this um, trajectory is going. Second, we are we're going to reactivate the alternate seating room uh, down in what was the old uh, fellowship hall uh, on Sunday mornings during our worship gathering. Uh, where uh, masks will be mandatory. So if you have that desire to, to want to be here uh, with God's people, uh, but are really uncomfortable about being out in the large gathering, then that, that room is going to be available uh, with the live stream on on Sunday mornings. Uh, third, uh, as we did at the very beginning of this, let me just uh, remind you, if you are not feeling well, please be considerate of others and, um, and, and stay home. Don't, uh, don't venture out uh, to our gathering on Sunday morning. 
and take advantage of our, our live stream. Uh, you can do that. That's available every Sunday morning. Fourth, I, I know some of our Sunday morning Bible study groups did not meet last week, and they actually may choose not to meet this coming Sunday. If you're in doubt about your group, the one that you participate in, please contact your group leader and find out what their plan is for Sunday. Uh, and then fifth, uh, just a reminder that if you would like, and you are certainly encouraged, you can join our Wednesday evening prayer time and Bible study via Zoom. Uh, you'll, you, there, you can find the link to that Zoom meeting in this email uh, blast. And then finally, uh, let me just encourage you, uh, let's stay focused even in the midst of these uncertain days on being a church that is united in the passionate pursuit of the next generation. 